Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Hope all is well. Guys, if you're able to hear me, please give me a yes in the chat box or any indication that you guys are able to hear me. Also, let me know if you can see my screen. Please let me know if you guys can hear me and if you're able to see my screen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Good morning. Hope all is well. Good morning, Tanya. And thank you. Are you able to see my screen? Taz, what's going on, my boy? Good morning to you. Again, guys, thank you for getting up with me. I appreciate that. All right, perfect. Let's get to it, guys. Don't want to waste a lot of time. So right away, we evaluate the dollar right out the gate, guys, so we can have an idea on what's going on. Uh, really quick, I want to show you guys. If you right-click, go to Settings. Again, I'm sure most of you guys know this already, but if you go to events and in settings and then you turn on economic events on the chart, all right, and normally, you know, I do only the future events, all right, so I don't have a bunch of the events showing at the bottom of the chart, but just check that box, hit OK, and now you guys can just hover over the economic news that is coming out for the dollar all right obviously you know you guys can do this for any pair uh, that way you don't really have to uh, toggle back and forth with uh, Forex factory to you know see what's kind of coming out all right it's just a quick way to stay on the chart right and get all the information that you guys need so just want to throw that in there and you know we'll, we'll place this as a point of interest just so you guys can review this uh, or jump to this when you review it um, later all right so so far uh it says in 42 minutes uh oh no this is just some news some headline news but you'll also see you know down here when it has uh you know the economic news also over here i believe is yeah the economic calendar so you guys can see on the 10th which i believe is thursday yeah so that's thursday uh we have uh core inflation and then on Friday, we have PPI and a bunch of, uh, you know, other little stuff for the dollar. So today um, doesn't look like we have any major news for the dollar, which is good um, because, uh, you know, we can really expect price action to do what it's supposed to do. All right. So just wanted to give you guys that. And once that goes away, we can get jiggy with it. All right. Here we go. So first things first guys we can see that just from a market structure standpoint we broke um this level of support came back to retest we started to drop but then it was short-lived okay 
and we started to rise and now we're breaking back into that old support that acted as resistance so now this is once again support okay for the time being so we'll mark that as such okay and again guys the first thing you always do is just evaluate the dollar to determine what is the trend on the dollar so you know that you can make your decisions on all of your major pairs that have the dollar in it all right that is the first step so once you can identify what the trend is then you can start to set things up to look for your trading opportunities all right that's the way that goes so now again looking at this um from a higher time frame okay if we go to like the four hour okay what we can see again is just dollar made a big rise started to fall so all of this even though we were breaking back above this level this old resistance level that's now new support even though we're breaking back above it still kind of seems like we are in a downtrend oh wait let me put that back I didn't mean to move that all right so here if we take this trend line and we can pop it on the top like this okay that's kind of where we got our break okay so this is not uh, how can I say it's not officially right it's not official because this can be a false break right it can act like it's gonna push up right and then you know come right back down right a few ways to determine whether or not it's gonna do that is just by going all the way down to the lower time frame like the five minute and now you guys can see more details where we can see that we broke above it and we've ac actually had candles that open and close above that level and has respected it okay as support so now we get more bulls showing up so for this moment the dollar is absolutely bullish okay so now what we want to do is go to our 15 minute time frame and we're gonna mark the high Okay. Also going to mark the low of the Asian session. So if you guys don't know about the Asian session, please join the Discord. You guys will learn what that is all about. Okay. But I don't want to waste too much time this morning. We definitely want to try to get some plays in. So just know that this Asian session, which is this light blue shaded uh, area here represents uh, you know five o'clock roughly to like three o'clock in the morning of price action for the dollar okay and we use this area to try to determine how the banks manipulate uh, price okay so it gets pretty heavy and it gets pretty deep but just know that um, this is a key thing to understand to help you um, you know make better decisions regarding uh, trades that you take okay so here's the high here's the low we broke out of the Asian session and this dark blue area is the London session so out of the London session is where we broke the previous high alright so this high for the Asian session actually was the high for yesterday right so I already marked this out with this little red dot so no really it was here this was the high of yesterday that was made during the, the London session around 6 in the morning and of course where are we now 6 in the morning and we broke above that high so what this signifies is that price wants to continue rising okay that's what that that's all about now that's just from a break of structure standpoint but from an Asian session manipulation standpoint this when it breaks the high this could be considered the false move all right and that eventually it will want to go and take out the low of the day all right but that is just potentially okay this is why knowing what the overall trend on the higher time frame is so important all right so when we're looking at it from the higher time frame yes it did you know look like we were going to begin this downtrend right but it was short-lived okay so really this downtrend was just a really deep pullback okay and now we're making tiny uptrend structure but we're just kind of falling right back in line 
to the overall uptrend that it was in before. You understand? So now coming back to the 15 minute time frame, I feel more confident that price will now go and take out the next high point. Okay. And it looks like that was here again around seven, eight o'clock, right? On the London session on Friday of last week. Okay. So I'll just put a little horizontal line there to represent that high. All right. For Friday of last week. All right. We're making it red. So you can see we don't really have far to go. Right. So even though we're pushing, right, we may very well stop and not be able to break above this, uh, you know, Friday's high. OK, so if that happens, then, you know, we could get the dollar to potentially fall and take out the low of the day. All right. It's just kind of how it works with the manip manipulation. All right. But there's another high again over here. And this would be for Thursday. And that high was made at three o'clock in the morning when the Asian session uh, was uh, over with. So there's no telling really, you know, where the dollar will get to if it will get to Friday's low or I'm sorry, Friday's high or Thursday's high. All right, guys. So I like to, again, look at the higher time frame. All right. So my they didn't want to give it to me. Hold on. Let me let me put it up. All right. Let's get this together. All right, guys, if there's any pairs that you guys want to take a look at, please pop it in the chat and I will try to take a look at it for you. Okay, if anyone knows about the 88% rule, again, for the indices, today will be a great day to take it as there's no major news for the dollar. All right, so you have an 88% probability of winning uh, the trade if you understand the strategy. And again, if you guys don't, come join us. All right, we you'll learn all about this stuff and, you know, start to make some money and realize how easy it is. Right. I know a lot of people probably say that, but trust me when I tell you, OK, it's different when you guys come in, uh, you know, join the squad. All right. So here. I know that here's the high of Thursday. Here's the high of Friday. And I believe, you know, we can get to either one for sure. Definitely it's going to be this one first of Friday before we get to the high of Thursday. Now, um. Yeah, so this will still be support. Okay, now uh, what else do I want to see here? Um, let's go to the daily. I'm going to get rid of that trend line. It's just doing too much for right now. Yeah, so because from the previous day, again, we broke, we just broke that high during the London session. Now, I believe that, you know, we should continue rising at least to this high. And who knows, because as we're looking at it from the daily, I can see that, you know, here's our low, our swing low. And then for the moment being, this would be our swing high uh, right here. Now, I know you guys can't see that from this daily, so I'll kind of go down a little bit. All right. And now here's a better picture, right? This low to this high. So if we place a Fibonacci. OK, so we can see that we got a perfect rejection of the 61.8 bull showed up. And now this is what calls the momentum that we see that broke back into, you know, this old support and now has it acting as support once again. So again, guys, dollar looks really, really bullish. I believe we'll get to 102.61 for sure. All right. And then possibly uh, where you guys can see Fibonacci levels are telling us it could head to is above the high for Thursday. All right. So guys, now we know what our trend is because we evaluated it from the higher time frame. We looked at, you know, some previous, uh, uh, the previous day's high, right, of where price got to. And, and we've noticed that that was broken. So that's what we call a break of structure. All right. So when you get a break of structure, ultimately, you will get a pullback. Okay. 
and then uh, you'll get more bullish pressure to show up letting you know that you're now ready to uh, you know prices completely ready to continue in that direction all right so uh, we've gotten that pullback and again let me show you guys where it is here on the five minute time frame okay so it's very tiny okay so break a little consolidation and the pullback okay respecting the previous high to the T all right but now you guys can see that it looks like we're getting a bit of a pullback right here let me see what this white line is oh that's the Fibonacci uh, high all right so it's just kind of respecting the fib level at the moment and we're possibly pulling back to give it a retest right from a higher time frame where, where it'll be visible on a higher time frame so a little tricky right now but let's just get some alerts in the mix all right guys so for the most part you guys have had a complete breakdown of how to get the party started all right by evaluating the dollar and trying to determine what the overall trend is that way you can start to line up other things again f with pairs like the majors um, that have the dollar in them to try to take advantage of the trend that you've determined all right so again that's half the battle and a lot of times you guys will see from there life just becomes <laughs> super easy uh, with being able to read market structure and price action and uh, come up with the bias on which direction you believe price will go on a given pair and you know you'll start to see that a lot of times you're right okay and you know losses come with the wins so if you're not going to be prepared for that then you know maybe this is not where you want to be all right trading is definitely not a place that you know you're going to want to be if uh, you're not going to be willing to take any kind of loss you think you're just going to win, win, win. Um, and I got sad, you know, bad news for you. It's just not the way it is. All right. But here we go. So got some alerts set. I'll come back to higher time frame. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to clean this up. going to take off Fibonacci. Okay. don't really need it. And all right, my high of the previous day is still there. All right, let me push this. Okay. All right, so with dollar going up, guys, on the major pairs like the odd dollar, the euro dollar, the pound dollar, the New Zealand dollar, we want to look to sell. All right, so again, let me write that on the dollar is up okay we look to sell pairs that have the dollar on the right okay an example okay guys is the euro usd all right, so please take that. And again, it's the opposite, you know, when it's uh, falling. All right, so guys, let's try to take a look real quick because we are, you know, we had the pound dollar. We're, we're, it's looking like it's going to, like we're going to lose this trade. Um, but, you know, it, it may still respect the low of the previous state. So we're not going to sell just yet, okay? Um, but it is looking bearish at the moment. All right, so just hang tight. Let's look at the euro usd and again shout out to my squad i hope you guys took a look at pound all pound cad and pound new zealand right and again i've told everyone on youtube you know uh, in my weekly watch list that these pairs were very bullish and they were going to blow so just to show you guys really quick okay pound on we took this yesterday we're up 71 pips right now okay all right so guys um please understand right we're, we're getting to it and you can easily uh, make a, a ton of pips within no time all right once you get the education okay so here it is pound on we're up 71 or 72 pips now all right a pound cad trade we're up 15 pips okay and that looks like it's still going to run 
a little bit just waiting for the the drawings to pop up okay there it is right perfect break of structure the retest that I say we're looking for on the dollar that happened here on the pound cat and then we took off all right so now we're just breaking above resistance not significantly but um, enough to you know possibly continue rising all right and on the pound New Zealand kaboom right we're up 54 pips on that and you guys can see right we just keep on uh, you know getting some W's right this is enough to stop trading for the week do you understand what I'm saying to you guys and um, that's really all it takes I know a lot of people think they need a hundred trades right uh, and that's gonna get it trust me uh, less is more okay and it's definitely always gonna be quality over quantity guys so please you know start to change up if you know that you're one of those individuals who are taking a boatload of trades but you're not seeming like you're coming out on top all right the easiest way to fix that is just trade less pairs and only look for like really good setups throughout the week trust me I know that it seems like it may not you know they may not appear during that week but you know that's how it is sometimes every week is not a trading week people do not understand that right it's all about your setups if you have them if they look good right or not right if they don't then you skip it you don't take it right you you sit on your hands you wait for another day wait for another setup but if it does look good right now you evaluate it the way that you should you know make sure everything is checked off on your list and then you take the trade that's how you do it all right I know a lot of people are wondering like man how do these people you know what whatever right this is how right I'm trying to give you guys the game so please write those notes and um, you know uh, try to implement you know what what you learn because it will absolutely play off uh, pay off so um, again back here and I can see that you know we have another little area that is now potentially going to be respected as support on the euro so again I'll play some alerts and we'll see okay let's go rising and another one here for falling okay if it ever comes up All right, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, back over to the dollar. So only one alert of it rising has gone off. And if we look at it, lower time frame. Okay, yep, looks like we want to push further. So let's see again. If dollar's rising, then gold should be falling all right it is now now we actually got into a buy on this yesterday uh but again it has not um yeah it has not broken uh below our low just yet so again you know this could really kind of go either way i'm just going to adjust my alerts and i'm going to set one below to let me know that it's falling And just kind of depending on, you know, once this alert gets hit, how it looks, we may take the sell on gold, okay? And just looking at it from a higher time frame, you guys will see the bigger picture, all right? Which, again, is something that I stress uh, to my members uh, to do, right? Because every time you guys get to the lower time frame, you know, things get uh, a little confusing, right? Uh, you're not sure you see price going this way and that way and you're just really not sure you know which way is it really going and the best way to to specify that right is to come over to this higher time frame and get the bigger picture then you start to say oh it's going down right or oh it's going up and trust me once you can you know identify that that's that's half the battle right there guys all right the rest is just timing and uh, basically waiting for certain things to uh, play out okay so here on the daily we can see 
you know that we are definitely uh, at the support level but we're in a downtrend on um, on gold okay so sorry for the lag guys if it seems a bit slow um, but we're going to try to work with it here all right so now again uh, we had a we're still basically in consolidation for the most part okay and I'll just stretch things out a little bit all right so I can see us falling all right as each one of these highs have gotten lower and lower and now this could potentially be you know a lower high as well um, but I can see that gold can fall so what I'll do uh, to try to jump ahead of that right without really knowing what it's going to do for sure um, because I don't know if it'll break out of consolidation I don't know if it'll respect it and start to rise so what I would prefer to see if I am going to sell it is that price breaks out of consolidation right with the candle uh, with the body of a candle that closes out uh, preferably one that opens and closes outside of the consolidation box that'll let me know that the low has been broken of the previous day which is this green line let me kind of zoom this in for you guys all right okay so that means that again the low has been broken of of the previous day which was sunday and now uh price should continue falling all right so with that being said I can easily set a sell stop order okay now I know that it's best to place the sell stop order below this wick okay because this is basically saying that you know uh, price even though it is it breaks out and it wants to fall it could just be a liquidity grab all right people bought from here and you know um, thought you know price is going to go up because this long wick is showing rejection of sellers ladies and gentlemen so again um, when you see that and then you had this bullish engulfing candle at that time right then you wanted to buy okay unfortunately gold uh, really did not you know it just created this high and then it started to reverse because obviously it was in a downtrend and it hit this fair value gap that was sitting right here uh, you know between these three candles and then it fell so now again as we're pushing down and it breaks out it could reject at this level like it did previously and then start to rise from there so I know it's better to put my sell stop below that all right as a matter of fact let's just do it because again I may have some newbies in here and I don't want to push things uh, to advance just yet but just know that I was going to put my sell stop at around 1927 okay to try to catch this drop earlier then you know uh, it getting below this um, liquidity uh, or this wick okay so now we're gonna place a pinning order on gold at 1925 okay and we're gonna set our sell stop I'm sorry our stop loss for our sell stop and our take profit okay so I like it at about 1935 yep that looks good and then we'll look left and we'll try to see where that previous low is so that we can aim for that low alright so again just one moment let the computer do its thing and we will take these numbers uh, shortly but again the entry guys is sell stop for go alright so go XAU USD sell stop Okay, this is again guys a pending order so please make sure um, that you choose sell stop and not sell now all right there it is dollar rising so again our gold play may get activated sooner than you think okay which is good uh, we want to get in this early right before everyone else early bird gets the worm so our entry is again 1925 Okay, and if you guys want to sell it now obviously you can just know that you're doing it prematurely without any confirmations that 
uh, goal wants to continue lower, right? We have not broken the previous stage low. We have not broken out of consolidation. We have not closed below the wick. So all three of those things are confirmations that goal wants to continue falling. So again, if you don't uh, wait for those things, you are taking it prematurely. Not saying that you won't win, but just know that if you don't, it most likely was because you did not wait for those confirmations. All right. So entry 1925 stop loss will be at 1930. Okay. And your take profit again, once this finishes, all right, let me, let me just see because it's all right. So it did do it. It was just hanging around. All right. So looking left, here's our low. All right. We got a few one here and one here, but I'm gonna go for the gusto because that's how it is. Okay. So we're looking at 1901. Well, let's really do like 1902. Okay. Take profit guys, 1902. All right. There's your play for the morning It's gold. Okay. And again, this is going to prevent us from uh, a lot of false, you know, uh, breaks or, um, you know, getting into go without the confirmations. All right. So if our order activates, you can pretty much bank on the fact that it will continue going lower. All right. Uh, why is it saying, all right, what's going on here? All right, there we go. Sorry about that. I don't know what that was. All right. Um, and now let's go back to the dollar and we can see that it started to push higher. So as I mentioned before, I think we're definitely going to get to 102. Okay. And from there, I'm not sure if we'll get a pullback, but it is likely. Okay. Um, but only time will tell as it's rising up to that resistance level. The only way that I'll know for sure that we'll get to here is if we get a candle that opens and close above this level. All right. And again, you'll never know that uh, just by guessing. You have to wait and see that that happens and that's what i mean when i say wait for price to show its hand right that's all we're doing guys the 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 the, the, the people who are really having some success in any kind of trading are the ones who know how to wait okay y'all think it's a lot of indicators and you know it's, it's just having a lot of money and all that well yeah you know that may help okay but that's not really uh how um you know, the success comes along. It comes with waiting, all right, and not being so, um, you know, so uh, eager to trade everything, right? It's being selective. It's being picky. It's being choosy, okay, for what looks good versus what doesn't look good, what gave you confirmations versus what didn't give you confirmations, all right? It's those key things, all right, guys? Um, again, guys, hit that like and subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. So now, um, you know, we have our gold trade set and let's look at some of the, look at that. All right. Now we're just breaking support on the Euro dollar. All right. So now again, this is one of those, let's just kind of do this really quick. I want to look at what the previous high was for the previous day. And again, all I really do is go to the daily time frame. Okay, and I see this is yesterday's candle. Take a little horizontal ray, place it at the top of the wick. Try to get it a little more precise. Okay, so that's close enough, but here. All right, that was the low. All right, come on, come on. I don't see my, oh, there we go. Okay, so we broke the low of the previous day. All right, guys. So again, I can also see that we've developed this little swing with these three candles. All right, so looking at, you know, price falling from here, I can, I can tell that we just, even though we rose up, we just made equal highs around this area. And it's, it's more depicted if I give you guys, you know, a little zone like this, okay, now you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Like, oh, okay, I see. It broke. It respected. fell down, came back, respected it again, 
gave us you know some bearish pressure that broke the previous day's low now we can definitely expect euro usd to go lower now funny enough i've been in this cell uh on the euro usd since last week okay because you know i did see this um and the only thing that really threw things off was that we had this falling wedge that you guys can see that we broke out of because we had divergence on it as well and we uh ran up about 80 pips but that 80 pips within those three hours got just right back to this resistance level and now we could not break above the high of this day right whatever day that was friday and now we slowly but surely started to fall and again you guys can see this is where my stop loss was above that high okay so i survived the trade all right um even though i was upset that i didn't get this buy because uh, that was a lot of pips in a short amount of time but nonetheless you know it pulled back on me significantly but i was up significantly all right so the pullback just really kind of came back to my entry it kind of stayed around there and now i'm back in profit up 50 pips and it's probably going to hit my take profit as i know the previous day low has uh, been broken and it wants to go and take out another low so here's the next low really uh at this swing point so i think it'll get here before it gets here obviously okay so let me just mark that and there it is so let's do uh two hour and then we'll take a measurement on that so you guys can see this is most likely where uh, you want to take your profit um, and we'll see how many pips that is. All right, guys, again, sorry for the delay with the computer. I just don't know why it always decides to act up. So here's that swing low that I just marked out. All right. And this is where the euro is. So, guys, we are going to sell. OK, 45 pips. That's good enough. All right. Uh, and again, you never really know how far it will go. All right, I'm just going to set one more alert. But we are going to sell the Euro USD. In case you guys did not know, the Euro USD is the most traded pair in Forex. All right, I know some may think it's gold because we love gold, right? But the Euro USD is king. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, we got, okay, we do have a fair value gap sitting up here, so we may get a pullback to that, but now this level of support, again, this candle's not closed yet, so it's not officially resistance, but we are, you know, trying to break it at this moment, so I'm just going to mark it as red just to, you know, keep it all, you know, uniform and what have you, but now, man, my stuff is not... Come on, there we go. So delayed, I have no idea. All right, boom, boom, boom. So that's what it is. Now I'll go to the lower time frame. And again, I know that the euro dollar is in a downtrend, okay? Because the dollar is in a uptrend. So now when I go to the 15 minute time frame and I mark out that manipulation, right? We can just get more details on what's going on. So now here, all right, is our high right there okay come on come on alright don't want to wait on it here's our low okay and we broke the low okay right over here about five in the morning all right and then we broke the previous day's low as well so guys we're selling the euro usd right now and we're going to put our stop loss right above the previous low uh that was made so guys sell euro usd right now okay the computer ever goes let me pop in the number for you guys now again guys hit that like and subscribe button for me price is at 1.09567 
okay and again I'm just waiting for it to kinda oh I'm sorry I'm already in a cell <laughs> that's the main reason alright so again for you guys I will close out take my money alright that was easy peasy lemon squeezy but once the computer decides it wants to catch up uh, we will we will sell Just give it a few more. It's trying. Come on. have to refresh guys which I don't want to do but I'm trying to give it a few more seconds just hope you guys sold it right now and let me give you guys the numbers because I can eyeball it all right again we're gonna get behind this high um, or this swing 09872 so stop loss is 1.09812 Okay, I'm not sure how many pips that is, uh, but let's see. Okay, it's about 30 pips, all right, guys, roughly. And then we're aiming for uh, this low, and we'll take it at 1.09125, and that's about 50 pips, okay? So not quite the one to two that we want, but close enough. And um, it may very well continue falling lower. All right, you never know. All right, but you, you gotta get yourself in position to be able to know, right? So I'm gonna just say that's roughly 50 pips, and there's your take profit. So again, we have a pending sell order on gold, and we have just did a market order on Euro USD. Again, market orders, guys, are what we call aggressive orders. So all of us selling the Euro USD right now is definitely going to force or push uh, the Euro USD down it's gonna give it that momentum okay when you place a pending order like we did on gold that's called passive sellers or passive uh, orders okay or traders or whatever you wanna uh, call it it's just basically we're not placing uh, you know we're not showing that you know uh, they're selling pressure uh, at a particular price or you know there's demand uh, you know bullish pressure at it particular price we're just saying hey you know uh, we will want to buy or sell at this price in the future right when it gets there uh, you know it's just what it is all right so now we were able to place that order okay and again we're gonna push this up to right above this swing point we're protected by the previous day's high okay, uh, low sorry uh, we even broke another low so now you know that nice wick rejecting that area you know gives me the notion that we will continue to push further down all right so again you can make your stop loss tighter if you want all right but for me I'm gonna keep it above the swing and again it's not the best risk to reward right uh, so 33 pips for about 44 uh, pips but I'll actually put it like 50 pips uh, even because I know that it can push right so we got just a dollar and fifty right risking a dollar to make a dollar fifty all right but again guys you can place your stop loss at the one or two uh, which will simply be saying that we're trying to get all the way down to that next level of support from the higher time frame all right and again let's see what it looks like it's down here all right so around uh, 08313. Oh, one moment, guys. All right. So, um, yes, uh, if you guys want, 
right you can move that stop loss on down and we're probably looking at roughly there it is 122 pips all right guys we do those kind of numbers all the time in my discord all right the proof is in the pudding all right got plenty of screenshots plenty of recording plenty of testimonies uh, that you guys can review to see that this is true okay and again this is not the two this is just to let you guys know what the possibilities are when you get when you get the education right and I know that it's very difficult to find that out there guys so please if you've been struggling if you you know the light bulb hasn't come on come on over to the discord I promise you all right things will change okay um, but there it is all right guys so um, you know we're in that and uh, I gave you guys you know the take profit to here but I'm gonna be honest I'm stretching my take profit to this low all right I'm gonna set an alert right here and I'm gonna say pretty much this lock and profits all right so at this point when price reaches or when this alert gets uh, triggered I'm gonna lock in profits right I'm gonna make it a risk-free trade either putting my stop above my entry uh, where I entered the trade or maybe I'll place it right below you know where price happens to be at that time and just dare it to hit my stop loss right there's more than one way to skin a cat I could also take another position you know right below support you know if it breaks it to take it on down to the next level right there's more you know you guys have options okay and that's another thing that you will come to find out is that you're not limited right you know what I mean you're like man how are these people taking 50 positions on this one trade etc 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 right you'll eventually learn what that's all about you know some of the ways that can be done and how you can do it for yourself all right if you see a really good setup guys being able to continuously take a position when price action you know creates these lower lows and these lower highs or these higher highs and these higher lows is it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing okay and um, it's how you just stay on one pair and just continue to eat and to eat and to eat right you know what I'm saying so um, you know just know that that's what you guys want to uh, you know look for so right now you know let's take a look at our dollar let's see if that looks like it's gonna fall okay what do you know <laughs> so it is falling all right and it just broke this low all right I'm not sure if this was so this looks like Thursday of last week so it just broke last week's you know low all right and it's already headed towards support which yeah is some low from you know way back in May okay but I don't like it uh, for a sell obviously because we missed the boat from the resistance level not me right I'm up over 102 pips okay because when we got the break I just took it right and I place my stop loss above this high and congratulations to me right so that's how it goes guys but let's look at some of these dollar base pairs all right uh, you know what let's look at pound New Zealand because all right now this one looks like we have a little more wiggle room all right to drop to the next level of support right here all right and let's do a quick measurement all right another 50 pips guys we'll take this okay let's drop down a little bit and see because we do have the break but now you know we want to see the retest okay so I'm looking for any potential areas I do see that we have a fair value gap that sits right here okay guys also uh, if you don't you know if you know about fair value gaps but you're tired of drawing them on the chart you know every time you see them then you can go ahead and get this uh, indicator FVG obviously stands for fair value gap by nephew Sam alright so go to indicators at the top and right when it pulls up search for FVG alright under technicals really right so again FVG and there he is right put a star on it and then that indicator will pop up on your chart so you see guys where I put this fair value gap all right if I erase this right and then I turn on my fair value gap indicator what do you know it maps out all the fair value gaps that sit on the chart making my life a lot easier all right so again you know I may preach that you don't need indicators 
right? But here it is, you know, I'm using them when I see that they can be beneficial to what I'm trying to do, right? That's how that that's how indicators are supposed to be used. Uh, but most people use them, you know, as the holy grail, which is the problem. Okay. Um, so right now, Again, as we gap down, we could potentially get a pullback to this fair value gap and then drop. All right. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is I want to place a sell limit order near that gap. OK, and I will place my stop loss behind the previous gap. Because all these gaps really mean is that we have uh selling pressure near these uh, gaps okay so please understand or well, once you understand that then you know you'll know how to play uh, a few things out all right so here I'm going to place it right above that gap and I'm going to aim for that low that we saw so now we'll probably make you know more than 50 pips on that trade if it'll let me do my dance all right, come on. All right, here we go. All right, looks like 80 something pips, but let's see. Yep, 85 pips with the 31 pip uh, stop loss. Here's the play, guys. All right, this is for New Zealand dollar. All right, this is a sell limit. Again, a pending order. Make sure you do sell limit and not buy limit. You will be disappointed. Okay. Your entry is going to be 0 0.60704. Stop loss is going to be 0 0.61020. That's for 31 pips. Okay. Take profit is going to be 0 0.59849. And that is for 85 pips. All right. This is another pending order that we have now on New Zealand dollar. Now, if you want, OK, guys, you can also sell it right now. And knowing that you may get a potential pullback to this area. Well, now you can set your stop right above that fair value gap or again, place it above the previous one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the sell right now. Again, the dollar has convinced me that it wants to go higher. So I have to take my chance, right? I can start coming up with all kind of reasons on why the dollar may fall, right? Even though we don't have news for the dollar today, right? I can just come up with all these reasons. Um, but why would you want to come up with so many reasons to take you out of a trade, right? When it's shown you the things that you need to see, you got to really think about that, right? You know, we talk about psychology and that's psychology in a nutshell, right? is you uh, letting your fears, you know, letting things that haven't happened, you know, make you choose, you know, uh, uh, the thing that you probably shouldn't be choosing, right? You know what I mean? It's just not how you want to really play it, okay? So here is my sell now trade. Actually, I'm going to put it just a little bit below support because, again, I do feel like it'll break. All right, hold on. If it gets right, come on. All right, there we go. All right, so our sell trade right now, I'll give you guys that number or those numbers for our market sell order on New Zealand dollar. So NZD, USD. Okay, this is a market sell now. Okay, your entry is going to be 0 0.60413 okay stop loss is going to be 0 0.60772 for 35 pips okay take profit is also going to be 0 0.59732 for 68 pips all right and it's not a one or two but it's pretty close all right again i do believe this will fall even more okay so now, guys, uh, I'll take a quick look at the dollar base pairs to see which one of those are going to rise and which one we can take advantage of. Look at that. <laughs> right when we go away from it, our alerts go off, right? Dollars pushing. And just like I mentioned earlier, we're, we're now at 102. 
right? I'm not psychic. You know what I'm saying? It feels like it. But it's, this comes with the territory, guys. Education and understanding. You, you will feel psychic too, all right? But we can get rid of those alerts. We know that that's good news. All right, here, we're about to get the alerts on here. Um, uh, what about gold? Gold is at 1931. It's trying, right? It's trying to break that low. All right, we'll see. Um, so we did re-enter on the euro, and guys, we're in profit on the euro. All right, don't miss, don't miss out. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Um, now, looking at those dollar-based pairs. And I think we can wrap it up with these. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. So, oh, I was waiting on this. And we're surviving this. So I actually called a trade on the NAS, uh, sell trade. So it pulled back a little bit. And now it's starting to fall. I want to get some alerts. Let me clean this up. I don't need this anymore. All right. And, guys, if the dollar continues to rise, uh, NAS will have a tremendous fall uh, this morning. I really... Obviously, we'll prefer it to break below these these lows, um, and then I'll know for sure that it'll drop. You know, I got in prematurely, but I knew that, okay, and I was willing to lay in that bed, all right. Um, but you got to know, you know, why, right? You know, you got to know what you're doing, and uh, be able to, you know, have a reason for it. But you know, when you're just taking trades just to take it, and you have no idea, you're just guessing. Uh, you know, you're not going to really see too much success. All right. Uh, you may get lucky for sure, but, you know, luck is not a strategy. We all know. All right. And it's definitely not going to get you uh, where you want to go with Forex. All right. But NAS, guys, looking very bullish. So set you an alert past 15243. All right. So again, I'll pop it in there. NAS 15243. All right. Set alert. And I promise you guys, if your alert gets hit, you can kiss the baby goodnight. NAS will tank. All right. Same for probably US 30. All right. So we did get in a buy uh, just because, you know, this bullish engulfing candle uh, broke back in. And then we, we were up. We made profit. We should have locked it in. You know, hopefully you guys did. But now it looks like, you know, we're heading down uh, and we could break support and continue falling. But this one is a little bit more, you know, uh, it's not as convincing. Right. That it'll drop. It, it looks like it could still respect support and rise again you never know but if we do break support right and we even break below any of this uh low we can definitely begin to fall on the us 30 all right but the thing is when the dollar goes up the us 30 and nas typically go down all right so i just want to give you guys those to try to take advantage of later on uh in the day and again i mentioned the 88 percent probability uh strategy you guys can probably google that and find it on youtube or whatever uh, but it is a really great strategy for uh, using on the indices uh, days where there's no dollar uh, economic news. OK, so uh, try to review that video uh, early this morning so you guys can take advantage of these indices. OK, but just really quick. All right. So it looks like we miss uh, the dollar cat. Um, actually, yeah, because I did call a sell on this uh, um, uh, in the discord. And we lost that because uh, it was just like our stop loss is right above here. So we lost that and dollar cat has been pushing up. So again, that lines up with the dollar uh, rising and we broke yesterday's previous high. And now dollar cat is just kind of taking off right now. So uh, we missed the boat, guys. Uh, this is what this is where fear, mo uh, not fear, mo FOMO <laughs> kicks in. All right. Of fear of missing out. You see a big push up. So you buy right now. And then, of course, it pulls back on you. You close out of the trade, but it was just a pullback. Right. We had the break of the previous high. It ran up, made a high, came back, did its pullback. Right. Which is just people taking profits from this big move. OK. If you were up about whatever, however many pips this is. Again, we're on the four hour time frame. This is the past, you know, eight hours. It's going about 60 pips, okay? So if you want to take your profits, that'll start putting in sell orders, which create that pullback, all right? And then if price comes back to the area that it broke out before, people see that. They know it's a retest. They know it's a premium, right? When you buy low, right, and you sell high, that's a premium area. So then uh, that's what, again, creates the pullback. And then the bulls show up once again. So you buy right now out of FOMO, fear of missing out. 
right? It pulls back on you, knocks you out, right? To hit your stop loss. Hopefully it doesn't blow your account. But then you get out because you're like, you had enough. And then the bulls show right back up and you're pissed because you were in a buy, right? But you didn't know what you needed to know. Guys, if you want to know what you need to know, come on, come on over. All right, I promise you. <laughs> okay, so here we missed it on uh, uh, USD CHF. Uh, also, you know, we got a nice bullish candle where it stands right now, but, um, you know, uh, it's, it hasn't broken the previous day's high. So again, we can get up there and start to uh, reject it and pull back. You know, maybe this will be a better area to buy from at a later time today. But right now, I don't like it. Okay, so I'm not going to buy it. Um, USDJPY. So shout out to my girl, Ariel. She made a killing, uh, you know, buying the USDJPY. She got in a little earlier than... Um, uh, than we did because uh, I had this pending order for it to drop but it never happened all right so euro USD our alert uh, probably we're more in the money right now so we'll check on that before we end it guys but hang tight all right euro USD what do we got come on baby show me the money and there it is we are in profit we're up five pips and it still looks like it wants to dive all right um gold right i don't have to click over to the chart read the ticker right 1930 right i believe uh our stop loss i'm sorry our sell stop is at 1925 so we needed to drop five more dollars all right and then we will be rocking and rolling okay but euro is falling uh what else did we get into new zealand okay we're almost in profit Okay, we're just a pip down, but let's take a look at the dollar. What do you know, guys? Take a look at that, okay? Take a look at that, right to the T of 102. So now, guys, I do expect a pullback, okay? And this will cause the euro or the New Zealand dollar to also pull back, which it may activate our sell limit order, right? And then it may even try to go to the next fair value gap, Hopefully it doesn't, you know, take us out. But again, that's just the possibilities. So most of you guys will say, oh, he called a good play. But then later on in the day, you start seeing it pulls back. And you're like, oh, no, nah, you know, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Right. And you get out of the play because you're starting to see red. And psychologically, that's messing with you. Right. So then you close the trade. And then later on in the day, about one o'clock, you know, we've made 50, 60 pips. And you're wondering, wait a minute, what happened? What did I miss? I was in that cell. You know what I mean? So, again, guys, just trying to let you know. Look at this. NAS is falling. All right. So, again, I am already in a cell. All right. So, I got into it early. I jumped the gun. But that's that might be very beneficial for me. All right. But I'm letting you guys know if you set that alert below these lows at that price, then you guys will be able to take advantage of a big fall on NAS. Right. Look at the double top. Made the lower high. And now we're getting ready to kiss the baby goodnight. We just need to break support. All right. I'm telling you, NAS is the play. Okay. Um, again, dollar. We don't know if it'll break above or respect it. But what I can see is that from here to here, we had a gap. Turn on my fair value gap. That way I don't have to draw. And boom, look at all these gaps. All right. After we got, we just kept rising, kept rising, hit the gap, kept rising. And we're making more and more gaps, guys. I do believe we're going to break above this level of resistance, okay? But at the same time, right, I know that these are also liquidity areas, right? If people bought from here, their stop losses are behind these areas. So we can go grab their stop losses, right, do the, do the stop hunt, okay, and then continue pushing higher. So don't be scared if you start to see that your trade starts to pull back on you, right, uh, the Euro USD the uh, New Zealand USD, you start to see that it goes, you know, starts putting you in the negative. Don't be scared. All right. Just know, um, again, that uh, that is a possibility. OK. And again, if you want to be safer on your stop loss, for, at least for the Euro USD, put it above, you know, this swing point here. All right. We did see a swing point on the lower time frame. But again, the higher time frame holds more weight. All right. So if you really want to win it, 
place your stop loss behind this higher time frame swing okay but guys uh i believe we are going to be good to go this morning here's gold right making its way about to break out of that consolidation again you can get into it right now as it has just broken the low of the previous day but it hasn't dropped out of consolidation and it hasn't broken below this wick so again these are just little uh stopping points that could potentially make it rise up or or go up okay but again now is a good time right 1930 you can jump the gun and have your stop loss above consolidation right guys it's easy money all right i'm telling you this play for gold is probably going to be uh um you know at that level with what nas has the potential to do all right but you're definitely going to make more money on nas micro lot you're getting dollar for dollar okay and that's that's very crazy so it's at 15 309 so let's just say it goes to 1500 you just made 309 dollars off a micro lot on nas and the margin is very low to get into uh, a trade on nas all right you can probably get into nas with less than 200 dollars uh you know in your account all right, and you have the potential of making about three hundred dollars off of this very nice setup this morning. All right, don't know how long it'll take to play out. Regardless, the setup is good. All right, so again, if you get that break, then you can pretty much you know bank on the rest of the week. You're going to be in some kind of significant profit. Okay, so guys, if you learn anything, you know again hit that like and subscribe button for me. If you want to learn more, right, have one on ones with me, join my live trading. Uh, my live training sessions please join my discord uh, the link is in the bio of any one of the descriptions of my video you guys can also go to my website um, uh, let me see if I can get that video for you I actually told you I'll post it in the in the discord I know you're in the discord um, so I'll post it in there for you uh, the 88 percent video all right guys but my website forexwithbane.com again you can find all my social media um, uh, pages you can also listen to the forex music all right that i have on the music page and um a lot more right but guys come on over right i will get you right you will be getting to the money in no time it may have taken you some years you know maybe you you're right there you feel like you know something's missing and i can connect the dots and make the light bulbs turn on for you guys so once again i appreciate you guys joining me this morning waking up and getting to a bag all right um every Tuesday I do this so please come on through let your friends and family members know and uh, yeah guys we we gonna get it all right but again thank you guys have a wonderful morning drive safe be good peace